So here's the shot test from 10 yards. <laughs> What up, guys? Steamboat Review, right? Everyone's seen an unboxing. I'm sure you've seen a thousand by now. We're going to get into what's good, what's bad, what's cracking. <clears throat> you know it. Got the 3D printer here. This is still my uh, my old uh, Sobel SV05 um, printing away with some ABS, obviously. We've got Bada Boom. So this is the, the quick whatever it's called, the sheath, quick sheath, boom, all 3D printed. I have a bolt in there. I don't know if this will fit then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boom. Bam. Done. 3D printed. <laughs> Works great. Um, also, check out this buttstock here. Riser. Yes. All ABS plastic. Super nice. Fits well. Thingiverse. Check it out. I was going to make one, saw this one, printed this guy out. And then I was like, this is great. So props to the guy who did this. Man, I need to throw him a couple bucks because this is sick. You know, I love how they have the tip option on there. So that way, if, you know, you use a few of them and you're like, oh, yeah, I, I need these. Then, you know, you could send the guy a tip, you know, <laughs> a couple bucks. But, you know, whatever. Um, I do need to make a new pad. Um, the pad on the back. Check this out. <clears throat> So this is the stock. It's just super pokey. You know, if you're in a t-shirt, I like to shove it in my arm just, you know, because when I'm aiming, I don't know, I just pull it back, you know, and make everything real tight. You know, I don't go like super firm to where I'm like shaking, but you know, just I push it back. And then when you're pushing it back and cocking, pushing it back and cocking, you know, that thing rubs on there. But um, so I had some of these foam pads, sticky sides. Uh, it works pretty good. Still, I want something rounder. So I might build a model for back here, something snaps on it or something, or you can glue on to put another pad over the top, but something that's more round, just to make it more comfortable. <clears throat> um, shit, I'm printing the background. Can I pause this? Uh, la, 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 la. Pause print, boom, okay. <laughs> um, so things that people don't normally talk about, about uh, the Stinger on their videos, because I watched a crap ton of videos before I uh, purchased this. Uh, one of the things is, I don't know if it's just the newer models or what, but this whole piece right here, this is all metal. All of it. Yeah, it's all aluminum. Here's a magnet. Yep, you can hear it. So this whole pipe here is metal. Or aluminum, and then the, the nut is metal. This sticks, and then you know, of course, this is metal. And then, um, newer model also has like a coating on this so it doesn't rust out, super awesome. But yeah, so your whole caulking mechanism is metal. All this bar and everything right here, all that is aluminum, and then your nut is metal. So the whole caulking mechanism. Except for what? Nope, yeah, the whole mechanism. Um, but what does hold... Is that metal? Oh, yeah, but it screws into the, the aluminum. So, yeah, this metal piece will screw into the aluminum. Okay. So, yeah, so the whole caulking mechanism is metal. Um, what else can I talk about on this guy that I was going to... I think that was it. Um, as far as accuracy, these are the 55-pound limbs that it comes with. And um, let's just go out to the range and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And um, we'll do the accuracy test. <laughs> uh, so I do have the dot sight on there because the iron sights. I, I shot up, you know, some guns when I was younger a lot and I was great with the iron sights. But I don't know what it is about these iron sights. Like, I feel like <laughs> just suck on here um they suck horribly they're garbage they're absolute shit so um get yourself whatever you like to use put it on there um oh yeah that's one other thing i was going to talk about the bolts that come with it 
already broken three. And by already, see, this one's just bent, but like it's barely bent. I tried bending it back and then I was like, whatever. So if you do buy one of these, 110% um, buy bolts with it. And uh, the bolts I have here, you've seen it. These are um, actually knockoffs. They're not the Steamboat, but they're carbon fiber botkins, I believe. These have been a thousand times better than the aluminum Steambow bolts. A thousand times better. Um, more accurate, probably because they don't bend. Um, they're rated for a heavier weight, so I can put the bigger bow on here. And they're just like these, I literally, oh, yeah. Can we see this? Let me uh, do something. Look at that, just split. Just split. And just like, these are absolute trash. Um, so just uh, break off the tip, throw the whole thing in the recycle bin. You know, so that way they got their metal, they got their aluminum, they can pick it up with their magnets and shit. Well, uh, yeah, don't use those. <laughs> they're dangerous. Uh, they're bad. I broke them within my first five times shooting this thing, like literally five times, like loaded it up five times. And I pretty much just have like maybe two bolts left. You know, if I want to use them. But no, like the ones I have in there, the carbon fiber ones, mwah, love them. Check them out on Amazon. Uh, I think they're like 6.3 inches and I forget what millimeters are, but um, search like Steamboat and stuff on Amazon, look for bolts, stuff like that. You'll find them just, uh, I think they're 6.3 inches. Uh, yeah. So like I said, those broke the first freaking day. Um, I've used these already, you know, three times more. And yeah, so if you buy one, Make sure you buy some bolts with it because you're going to need it. Uh, I believe these that are in here, you can get like a, what was it, a 24 pack for I think $30 or a 12 pack for $20. So yeah, get the big pack. Um, you're good to go. You can't afford a big pack. It's small pack. Still a good deal. Um, carbon fiber arrows. So yeah, they work great. I love them. So um, they definitely get put on here as a must have. Um, they come in different colors. You don't have to just go with the orange and black color scheme. So, you know, whatever you want to use. Uh, I'm with the orange and black, obviously, to match this bad boy. This bad boy looks good. Oh, okay. I love the same spot. All right, let's go to the range now. All right, first things first, I'm going to check distance here. 13. So 13 yards. All right. Let's <clears throat> get warm. Got to warm up. Been a minute. Dude, that's a good shot. Boom, that's it. 13 yards is the look. All right, we had one bounce out. You can see where I was aiming. So this one was gonna go here, this one was gonna go here, this one was gonna go here. That one almost hit perfect, that one almost hit perfect. So not too bad at 13 yards. So, I mean, I might be able to, uh, I don't know, because I was aiming for that one, that was pretty close. It does veer off a little bit, but this is the 55 pound lift. Well, there you have it, Kapuya. So, um, I mean, it's pretty accurate. I think from the 13 yards I was shooting at, um, it would probably make that probably be more accurate with the 75, 90 pound limb. Um, that being said, you know, if you just go 10 yards, you're pretty much right on. So here's the shot test from 10 yards. Keep in mind these holes are only about two inches the dots two inch dots so not too bad I mean three are just about on it and then we had a flyer here that could be anything you know <laughs> could be the bolt could be me 
because yeah the four of them are pretty tight so not too shabby and that's from 10 yards so as you can see from 30 feet it's it's not too bad you know it's within six inches so from 30 feet six inches that's that's not bad dude i mean that's that's a riot like i said i want to try out the different limbs i want to get 90 because this is just so easy to cop like effortless like slow-mo oh, like i'm just like giving it nothing so that's the 55 you know thought about 75 but um I don't know, I kind of want to snipe with it a little, you know, like 60 yards or something. So I don't know what the 90 is supposed to do. You know, I know they make like the 120, supposedly you could put this up to, but I feel like just for this little fun thing, I want to be able to cock it fast because I, I like doing that. You know, I want to try like some planking and stuff and set up some stuff in my backyard, and, you know, run around, duck and stuff and shoot stuff, you know, that'd be, you know, it'd be fun. Um, so I feel like 90 pounds, might be that sweet spot to where like you know i could do like 20 yards um instead of 10 15 like i'm doing now so yeah because 30 yards is you know that's should be some fun planking right 30 yards what is that you know 60 feet that's pretty good so yeah twice as far um but we'll see because this is supposed to be 55 and that would be a 90. so i don't know i might need the 120 but I might just grab the 90, try the, I don't know, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, let me know what you think, what you want to do, uh, if you want this at all, because um, it's fucking cool. Uh, it's fun. Uh, shout out to this guy, uh, just search uh, Steambow in Thingiverse. Yes, I still think use Thingiverse. I like things, but sometimes they just litter it with a bunch of bullshit too. So, you know, I still go to Thingiverse and check out what they got, because uh, Thingiverse is awesome and it's the OG. Um, but So check this out on Thingiverse. Uh, just, Search Steambow, uh, AR Stinger, whatever, just type all that stuff in um, and just pull up searches for um, these bows. <clears throat> and there's some cool stuff on there too. Um, like these work so good out of ABS Plastics, little speed lowers. Um, they're just, they're more flexible out of this ABS. So, let me zoom in here. It like stretches. So like when you go to pull it out, I see a lot of videos of them saying they like tear up the, the fletchings. And with the with the ABS plastic, it just seems to be so smooth, like gentle. Like I see the guys like kind of struggle to pull it with the other ones, and this it just just glides right out, just effortlessly. <clears throat> so that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't want to bug you for too much longer. So uh, tell me what you think. If there's any other questions or anything you want to see me do with this, uh, let me know down in the comments. Peace out, bye.